Hey, Rob Dog here. This is a little small demonstration of how the PlayStation Vita works. Since most of my friends don't really care for the Vita much, I just want to make this video just to show what it can do. Okay, here it is. My PlayStation Vita. I got it for like around 100 bucks on Amazon. I just got used. Um, just got a cable and this comes with it. And this is... What is it capable of? This is a touchpad right here on the back. And camera right here. You put the game here. Memory, it's standard by 4 gigs and you just put them in a slot right here. Hmm. And let's turn it on. This is the D-pad right here. You can see, and analog sticks, and the buttons. And you just slide. And I'm loading a game, okay. What I do on this is I could use my Facebook if I don't game, um, message, and email, and YouTube. Let's try the video out. The quality of it, I mean. Normally, I think the PlayStation doesn't have good graphics compared to anything, but this one seems a lot better. Let's try one. This is from my friend, Freak Eating, Nidoretta. Welcome to another episode of Freak Eating vs. The World. Can you imagine this? This is cool. But what if there were five kings? Huh? Really? Size candy bar challenge. Oh, it's a little blurry. <laughs> well, we're not doing that for that. So if, when we're done, we do this. And if we want to like play a game, we just go here and look at. We can even Skype too. I normally play this game. It's a music game based on uh, touchscreen and beat, and it's a Korean game actually. K pop really rocks. Okay, so this one you just press the sharp button right here. And touch. Amazing how most of the English stuff is in here too. Select yeah. music. So just pick any. Just pick one. Not really picky right now. Okay, I'm done pretty much. Okay. So, and if you really don't like doing all this stuff, you can still play your PS4 remotely. Like, so, I'll show you. I just link. And you don't have to do anything, you just press the remote, and it will talk to your... PlayStation right there. And, see? And it works on your PS3 too, so PS3, PS4, you could do whatever. See? Same thing. So, let's just say I love playing Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider is actually remote, so you can just press the X button on it. You could... Ooh, look! Sweet, huh? And if you turn off your PS4 or something, you can still bring it and play around when you're going to core, going to school, or church.
Let me just turn off the system and stuff. See? It's like I'm not actually buying the game for the Vita. Well, okay, first time for everything. Yeah, so just need to load loading and then Cool, huh? And I just turned off the system too. Or actually no, actually, I didn't turn off the system, but it still works. I think you pretty much have to be far away. Ooh. But still pretty tight, right? I'm playing the high death, uh, definitive copy of Tomb Raider on my Vita. It looks so nice. Look at Laura. Well, anyways, that's pretty much it. I'll just stop here. This. And that's it. Sorry for some of the problems on it, but still, it's a very good system. I recommend it. If you're going to have a PS3, PS4, it's actually a good companion to it. And, um, let me see. Anything else I want to share? Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, and this other function right here. When you press this button, you actually could either check people around you that have this system, or if you're lost, you can use the GPS. So it has almost everything you need for a system, and it's way better than the Nintendo 3DS. I heard a lot of people buy games for the 3DS that are Japanese and such, and it's region locked. This system is not region locked, so you can actually play Japanese games like Bleach, Naruto, and such. So this is a good system to have. And the new game called Hatsune no Miku um, is actually coming out for the system. So um, take a look on the system. And I hope you enjoy it. And uh, please subscribe and like to my videos. And have a good day. Later.